Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you an incredible new way you can enhance your Microsoft Teams meetings through check-in forms. Whether you're conducting recurring one-on-ones or group meetings, these forms can help participants catch up on what has taken place in between those meetings, or simply be used to break the ice. So without making you wait any longer, this is how you can add employee check-in forms to your Microsoft Teams meetings. To do this, I'll be taking advantage of the TeamFlect app for Microsoft Teams. It is an all-in-one performance management solution. And this is the best part of using Microsoft Teams, because even though it is a great platform on its own, you can always enhance and customize it using these native apps. All you have to do is head over to the Microsoft Teams App Store and look for TeamFlect and you will find that TeamFlect is the highest rated app in this category anyway. And you don't even need to bother setting up because TeamFlect just automatically uses your Microsoft account. This is what the app looks like once you integrate it into Microsoft Teams. It has a lot of features, but today we're concerned with meeting check-ins. So I'm clicking meetings on the left side bar, and these are all my meetings from my Outlook calendar. They're automatically drawn and reflected inside TeamFlect. And I'm heading into a one-on-one -on -one I have with Hakan. It is a regular one-on-one. -on -one. Now, once again, we have plenty of different meeting features in this comprehensive meeting page, but today we're concerned with check-ins. From here, all I have to do is click new check-in. And as you can see, I have some check-in templates available to me already. Now I can either pick one of these or I can click customize templates to customize existing templates or create new ones using different question sets. But for now, I'll be selecting the default one-on-one -on -one check-in template and we can see the questions inside this template right here. And then all I have to do is click add check-in to meeting. And there it is. That's how easy it is to add a check-in form to your Microsoft Teams meetings. Now we can see that nobody has submitted their answers yet. And we can see we have some open-ended questions and a rating question. Now that was pretty straightforward. Now I'm going to switch the account of the person I sent this check-in form to. And let's see what it's like to be filling out this form. So here I am inside Hakan's account. It's the same TeamFlex dashboard. And I'm heading into my meeting. And right here is the check-in we sent out before. So I'm clicking on it now and just filling out my end of it. I'm just pasting my answers. It's all very easy and straightforward, to be honest. And once I'm done putting my answers in, all I have to do is click Submit. And now, just like that, I can see that the form has been submitted on Hakan's end, but it's still waiting for Benny to submit. And that's about it. One last thing I want to cover before we wrap things up is I want to show you how you can customize existing check-in templates and create new ones with different question types. To do that, we'll be taking a trip to TeamFlex Admin Center, which is incredibly easy to navigate. This is TeamFlex Admin Center, and all I have to do is click on Modules and head over to Meetings. And here, if I scroll down, you can see that I have the option to toggle meeting check-ins on and off entirely. But now we're going to click Configure Meeting Check-in Templates. Once we do that, we can see all the templates we have ready to go right here. And if we want to, we can simply add a new check-in template from scratch. Or we can simply click edit and edit an existing template. Let's do just that. Right here, you can see that this template has a name, a description, and different questions. And we can change question types from freeform to multiple choice rating and ranking questions. We can change their orders, duplicate questions, and of course, delete them. So let's close this. And right here, I also have the option to duplicate a template or delete it directly. And that's about it. That's how easy it is to customize these templates. And that is how you can add check-in forms into your Microsoft Teams meetings using TeamFlect. So what did you think? What kind of questions would you like to ask in an employee check-in form for a recurring meeting? Let me know in the comments and let's start a discussion. Guys, we release helpful Microsoft Teams content like this one every single week. Subscribe so you don't miss any of them. And if you want to try TeamFlight for free or schedule a demo, you can always click the link in the description. Bye-bye.